Welcome to Math Window. You should be able to solve this equation. Solve the value of x. Square root of x plus square root of 5 plus x equals 5. How can I solve this equation? We have noticed that because the x and here the 5 plus x are both under the roots. So now I can get that the x is must be greater or equal to to zero and five plus x also it must be greater or equal to zero because five plus x must be greater or equal to zero so we can get that we minus five on the both sides and we can get that x must be greater or equal to negative 5. But here we call that x must be greater or equal to 0. But here is x must be greater or equal to negative 5. So from them, we can get that x must be greater or equal to 0. We took the same part of them. So now we can solve this equation happily. So what's on the left side? Maybe you will say that I was squared on the both sides. But if you get a squared on the both sides, you find that what's on the left side? It's x plus 5 plus x, then plus square root of x times 5 plus x. It will still appear square root. It is nice for us, is it? So now we do some changes. The left side, I let square root of 5 plus x on the left side. And I let the square root of x move to the right side. So it's 5 minus square root of x. We can square on the both sides. Square root of 5 plus x, then squared, is equal to 5 minus square root of x, then all squared. What's on the left side? Square root of a non-negative number, then squared, is itself. So this is itself, 5 plus x. And what's on the right side? Here we use the second binomial formula. That is, a minus b all squared is a squared minus 2 times ab, then plus b squared. So it is 5 squared is 25, and then minus 2 times 5 then times square root of x is 10 times square root of x. Pay attention, here is minus. And then plus square root of x then square root. So it's x. And now what should we do? Because here appear x on the both sides, and we can, and we can ask how them. Actually, you can also minus x on the both sides, but it doesn't matter. 5 is 25 minus 10 times square root of x. And then we according to this. According to a minus b equals c. And we can get a minus c is equal to b. So you have to have a look at this equation. They also can be used in the equations. So from this equation, 25 is a. And here, okay, I draw this. I don't draw the line because it looks like a fraction line. And here is b. 5 is c. So a minus b is equal to c. And we can get a minus c is equal to b. It is also like b is equal to a minus c. They are the same. So here we can get 10 times square root of x is five, 25 minus 5. What's 25 minus 5? It's 20. So here we divide it by 10 on the both sides and we can get that square root of x is equal to 20 divided by 10 is 2. 
So the square root of x is equal to 2, and the final answer is that We get a square on the both sides. X is equal to 2 squared is 4. And don't forget to give me a like. Ring the bell. Subscribe me. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.